Hello everybody, it is Wednesday, March 24th, and here are your national days. It is Chocolate Covered Raisins Day. If you're a big fan of the Chocolate Covered Raisins, you go for it. They never did a whole lot for me. But if you're a big fan, you want the Raisinettes in there, you go to it. I wish you well, and if I get any, especially like the, like Halloween, whenever you got the Chocolate Covered Raisins, I kind of felt a little bit like a, mm, you're trying. But, um... I always gave them to other people. I always traded those things. I never kept those. Uh, but uh, if you like the chocolate-covered raisins, any ones I get, they are yours. All right, so uh, have fun with that. It's uh, Roommates Day, so if you uh, have a roommate, uh, celebrate with them today. You know, it's a good reason to go out, maybe have a little little uh, celebration, get a little dinner. You can party in, party out, you know, wherever you want to go. But Roommates Day. It's Tuberculosis Day. And this is a, uh, a serious disease of the lungs that causes severe coughing. Um, and you can cough up blood and have uh, night sweats and just, just lots of lots of issues. You, it can be treated with uh, medication, but uh, it's a pretty serious thing. If you don't treat this thing, it's uh, pretty serious if you catch him adrift. So uh, definitely, uh, if it's uh, something that is affecting someone in your family, definitely uh, let's uh, take a look at that. All right, so tuberculosis day. Uh, it's also cheesesteak day. Now this is just a classic, classic goodness. Uh, now I'm on the East Coast, I'm in the state of New Jersey. I'm right next to the, um, I guess what people would, would refer to the cheesesteak capital of the world in Philly. And you've got all your different, uh, different places. You know, the, the big name Gino and Pat's, but we all know there's a lots of other ones that are around there that quite frankly, might end up being better than those two. I'm not allowed to say that really, but there are some out there that are, are definitely better. And um, there's a couple of them in New Jersey that are worth taking a look at as well. So uh, wherever it is you like your cheesesteak, um, you know, try it out today. And if you've never had one, get one. All right, so uh, there you go, cheesesteak day. So those are our days, short, short little day here. So let's take a look and see what our uh, fact of the day is. Abraham Lincoln was a bartender. All right, I had no idea. Uh, you know the 16th president of the United States fought for freedom of slavery uh, and the Union, but what uh, you didn't know was he was a licensed bartender. Uh, Link Lincoln's liquor license, say that a couple times fast, Lincoln's liquor license was discovered in 1930 and displayed in the Springfield liquor store. Wayne C. Temple, a Lincoln expert, told the Southeast Missourian newspaper that in 1863, Congress wanted to fire Ulysses S. Grant because he drank a lot, and Lincoln's response was to send Grant a supply of whiskey. Hey, you know, even back then, politicians had a sense of humor. All right, so um, Lincoln was a, was a bartender. <laughs> no idea. All right, y'all, on that fact, I'm going to go see where I can find a cheesesteak. Hopefully you do too. Have yourself a great day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody.